Well, good morning, everyone. It's good to see you. Thanks for joining me on this Thursday morning. Out of Psalm 118, verses 15 through 27, and I would read it to you this morning, but our, our time is rather limited. It talks about the stone and the capstone and the stone that was rejected. I really want to go to Acts chapter 4, verses 11 through 12, and pick up one specific verse out of that passage that helps us understand Psalm 118. Here's the verse out of Acts chapter 11. Jesus is the stone you builders rejected, which has become the cornerstone. Salvation is found in no one else. Now, if you go back to Psalm 118, you'll understand that that psalm is the final prayer and the final song from the liturgy of the Passover feast, which celebrated Israel's freedom from slavery. Israel was the stone that the builders of civilization had rejected, but God made his people the cornerstone of his plan for the world. The apostles referred to Jesus also as the stone that was rejected, and he is now the all-important cornerstone of God's kingdom. Jesus is the Messiah who rode into Jerusalem as, as Israel's king, and though rejected by the Jews, he became the foundation stone for a new temple. And he will come again as the heavenly sovereign judge. He ultimately is the one who says, I will not die, but live. Jesus, the Messiah, rises from the depths to the heights. And in the process, he takes us along with him. The rejected stone then becomes the new cornerstone and we become living stones essential to God's new building. The word for cornerstone is also interpreted as capstone, indicating that Jesus becomes the crowning glory of the building that is the temple or the kingdom of God, and you and I will share in his glory. No longer rejected, but precious, no longer worthless, but important. That's our new identity in Christ. Let's celebrate that identity this morning. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for helping in this life of ours to turn human plans really upside down, making a new reality from your death. You became the cornerstone, the capstone, and we alongside you will be part of the building of the kingdom of God. Yea, even today are part of that great building. Today, make us, make us aware of our identity in you, and I pray it in Jesus' name, amen.